Hello Libra and welcome to your tarot message for August. So Libra, today is August 4th and I wanted to wait until the moon was in Libra to do the messages. And I was called to do the messages, the tarot messages this month while the moon was in Libra. Because I find that this month is all about balance and you are the universal balancer, okay? You are the scales for all of us. The need for balance between the good and the bad and logic and emotion, okay? You are, by nature, an air sign. So by nature, that means that you are very logical. And you are ruled by the world of, of the mental and the spiritual realms. So you are very much in your head a lot of the times when you find yourself unbalanced. And what that does is it kind of makes you self-sabotage. So why am I bringing this up? I believe it is important for us to know our natures based on where we are in the in the sky and how those bodies affect our everyday life. Libra, I'm seeing that right now you are concerned with money. It is a common concern for you. Okay, here's the wheel of fortune telling me that fortune is in on your side. And there is the four of coins telling me that your biggest fear is instability. It is being unstable financially. It is the thing that keeps you up at night. It is that spirit that sucks you dry because you want to be financially stable. And when you aren't, it makes you feel as if you have failed someone. You have maybe failed yourself or failed an expectation of others that, they, that you assume was there so what is the month of august 2019 going to bring for you libra is the question so let's go ahead and take a look again you are ruled by the world of the mental so by nature you are very money driven not that you are money hungry but you are stability driven materialistically driven because the mind is always worrying and concerned with what the physical is going to bring right so it's always concerned about manifesting things into the physical realm so let's take a look and see what your guardian angels said are bringing for you this month so for a lot of you libras that are concerned with money i'm seeing a promotion this month okay i'm seeing a new opportunity but your guardian angels are telling me that the opportunity will be yours if you are willing to take it, okay? The Ace of Wands is coming up here, which is, which is an opportunity that you are very passionate about. Something that you are passionate about doing. And something that is very important for you to take up because it's something that you're very passionate about. The Wheel of Fortune is saying that luck is on your side. Luck is trying to help you but it is your own fear that holds you back okay the fear of taking a chance the fear of the risk of possibly losing the fear of taking that leap of faith and looking for another job or asking for what you're worth but here is the queen of pentacles showing me that by september this will be resolved and a new opportunity will come your way and the only one who can stand in your way is yourself so what do you do embrace that fear and go for what you want. I see that you, many Libras by nature, are meant to be very wealthy, comfortable people. But, and they balance love and wealth and inheritance. I see you, I see that the reason why you worry is because you want to have that generational wealth that you can take care of your family, your soulmate, and maybe have something to give to those who come after you. And that is possible, but the only way that it's possible is to fight those negative thoughts away and to embrace the risk, to embrace 
the opportunities that are being presented to you and to not be afraid to have faith, to use faith as a sword. Because just as you can manifest negative things with your thoughts, Libra, you have a powerful, powerful ability to manifest good, to manifest love, to manifest money. You have that ability if you change your mindset. I want to see what oracle card is best for you this month, Libra. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bonus oracle card and see what the spirit guides are saying. Could be the best approach to letting go of those fears, okay? To embracing those opportunities. Obviously, applying for the position that you want, asking for that raise that you want, going for what you are passionate in are all material, logical choices, okay? So let's take a look what the oracle says. Watch out for blind spots, okay? That is the skull of darkness. Watch out for blind spots in your own mind. Blind, blind spots, things that will just take you by surprise, okay? Watch out for those, but also don't be so afraid of them that you don't see anything, that you don't see the possibilities of the opportunities, and you don't see the financial opportunities that are being presented to you, and also that you don't take and get taken advantage of because you are not seeing what you are valued at. Many blessings to you, Libra, and thank you for bringing us balance.